seven to ten. Um, I loved my life. I couldn't have done any better. Um, and um, when it comes to risk management and being on the Egyptologist side, archaeologist side of my field, yeah, we take risks every day. I mean, every time we take it, we take risks passionately too. Mm-hmm. Every time we have make a new discovery, there's always the risk of not just losing everything, is losing your own life. You discover a new mummy, you open a new tomb, you have to think about all these things that happen to people all the time. The curse of the pharaohs, oh. where people open the tomb for the first time and they end up dead for whatever reason, whether it's uh, spiritual or, or, or otherworldly or, or chemical. Um, it happens oh. all the time, but we don't think of that risk while we're making it because mm. what comes with that risk, the accomplishment that can come with that risk, is a great discovery that mm-hmm. will completely change the world and completely change history as we know it. Every time we make that discovery, we're hoping for it to be that. Um, that's what Howard yeah. Carter and Lord Carnarvon did. They took risk mm-hmm. one year after the other, uh, and they found, they discovered the tomb of King Tut after three years, after running out of money, after running out of finances, after having a lot of their 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 team dying and, and mm. Lord Carnivore himself suffering with disease. They still took the risk and stayed one more month. And that month, they discovered the most important discovery in the history of mankind, the tomb of King Tut. Wow, so we're a lot closer to our reward than we even think, aren't we? Yes, the reward the reward is what makes the risk uh, not seem so risky. Right, I love the way you put that. The reward is what makes the risk not seem as risky. And you just really just flow in, in that for the most part, right? Absolutely. So what has, I mean, what draws you to the, the mysterious? Even though you've grown up in a family... This was this normal business for you all. But what is it that draws you to the mysterious? Well, if um, I don't think there is a human being out there that um, can taste this once and not be completely addicted to that feeling. Mm-hmm. The feeling when you get squeezed between two ancient rocks, dive all the way down a massive shaft so you could be the first human in this time to experience this new discovery it is it is it is a rush it is it is a drug it is it is an